Hi everyone. Today I'd like to discuss the HBS 750 or the LG Tone Pro, as it's more commonly known. If any of you have seen my last video, I showed you how to take apart the HBS 730 and the HBS 700 and replace the battery and the earbuds because the earbuds tend to go bad on the left or right side. So today, the video is a little long overdue. I've been meaning to do it for a while. Um, I'm going to show you how to take apart the HBS 750. Um, the HBS 750 is different in a few ways. Uh, in the HBS 700, the battery and the power control board and the logic board were all housed and held in by the outer shell. Um, the HBS 750 that I have here actually has uh, a skeletal structure, a, a plastic uh, structure um, in the middle that both shell pieces clamp down to. Um, also, the circuitry is a little bit different inside, and uh, we'll get into that. Now, I'm not going to show you replacing the earbuds or the battery on this. I covered that pretty well in my last video. Um, this video, I'm pretty much just going to show you how to open it up and where the components are that need to be replaced and how to replace them. Um, but I'm not going to show you the actual replacement process. When I do fix this one, this one uh, in particular has the right earbud that's uh, broken. I'm going to replace it with um, the AWI, A-W-E-I. Um, they're high definition uh, earbuds that have uh, rare earth magnets as the drivers. And I've used these on a couple uh, earpieces already and the sound is just phenomenal. The bass uh, response is pretty good. Um, and they they fit right inside the ear cup as well. So let's get to it. Now, the casing on these, um, as you can see on the inside, it's the same uh, hook and loop system. Uh, we've got hooks on one side, hoop loops on the other, and they correspond to hooks and loops um, that are both uh, on the inner skeletal piece and on the earpiece itself. The, uh, the, the shell attaches to the other piece of the shell on one side, and then it just attaches to the inner shell on the other side. So, first what we're going to do is we're going to pop out the rubber pieces that are protecting the screws. And they just pop out very easily. Uh, you just need a screwdriver with a sharp uh, tip on it. And I always suggest keeping a small parts tray. It's actually very essential for changing anything on this earpiece because there are a lot of small parts uh, that roll off, get lost very easily. So we're going to unscrew. this screw out. We're going to move the earbud out of the way. Now the best way I've found is to push pressure and push up on the top of the earpiece. Um, try to uh, get the, the hook and loop popped off. You'll start to hear it uh, disconnecting as you go along. Sometimes it's easier with a flat screwdriver. Um, you just pry up very easily. Now on this side with the battery door and the power switch, you want to be very careful that you don't lose those when you're popping off the top. And over here again on the other side, you want to pop off this side separately. So we'll 
Put them in there to gently pry it away. There we go, and as you can see, the battery door went flying. So, we're going to take out our power switch and put that aside. And here we have our, our top piece. Now, let me see if I can get some more light on this. Alright, so... If you can see here, these two right here are your positive and negative for the speaker. Um, in fact, one even has an L- minus for the negative wire, and there's a little plus sign for the, for the uh, positive wire. Um, these buttons are removable. Uh, you can put those in your small parts. Uh, holder as well um, but if you're just replacing the earbud um, then you don't really need to take those out now a good feature on these is that it's got this uh, little rubber piece that fits into the side here um, when you undo the knot and take the old ear piece off or the old earbud off, you can slide the new earbud through this rubber piece and pop that back in there. And make sure when you solder the when you solder the new earbud in that you put a knot in here so that when you tug on it, it doesn't come loose out of the uh, housing. Now you can pull the bottom side off of this but if you're only replacing the earbuds there's no point there's really nothing on the bottom side of this except uh, empty space so now I'm going to take off the other side and show you the other side The other side is pretty much the same procedure, like to push up and loosen everything. Um, sometimes you can get it with your fingernails, other times you can't. best way is to pry up and in to get it disconnected once again once you got the uh, the outside you can come back over and get the inside just kind of run your fingernail along and that will come loose too There we go. And as you can see, very very nicely comes off. Uh, make sure these little hooks are intact. Be pretty hard to put it back together if the hooks are not intact. And here we have the battery. Now the battery in, in the HBS 750 sits sideways. Um, pulls out. Now I've already replaced this with a, a upgraded battery. This is the 220 milliamp battery that uh, fits in the HBS 700. The battery that the HBS 750 uses is the exact same one that they used in the HBS 700 and the HBS 730. It's a 195 milliamp battery that's 3.7 volts. Um, the battery size was even the same, so this replacement battery actually worked in all the earpieces. Now, I've seen uh, online that they actually have other batteries that look like they'll fit into here uh, that are 260 milliamps, uh, which is a pretty decent size. And I also saw a 300 milliamp battery uh, 
that's a little big but I'm gonna buy one and test it out and see how it works out and if it works out I'll post it in the comment section and as you can see again here there's positive and negative for the battery and oh, sorry down here you can see positive and negative for the earpiece wire or the earbud wire and once again it's the same procedure you got the little rubber part here that uh, you want to make sure you save for the new earbud and that is the HBS 750 um, like I said these these buttons do come out um, so when you push them back in you got to make sure that they seat right And then you want to push them to make sure that they are working properly. Now, as you can see on the HBS 750, that the circuit boards are a lot different. They're a lot smaller. Uh, it seems like they've uh, gotten a lot more integrated uh, into the headset. So, that is my video on the HBS 750 on how to take it apart and how to change the components out. Um, like I said, the, uh, video on how to do the actual earbud replacement, uh, is my previous video for the HBS 700. Those methods will work for this, um, with the battery replacement as well. So I hope this helps. Uh, remember to, uh, like the video if uh, you enjoyed it, um, leave any, uh, comments or questions i'm happy to answer and get back to you right away uh if anybody has any questions oh and while you have uh the pieces off um it's a good time to paint them if you want to do a custom job uh, as you probably saw earlier i did this one in yellow uh, kind of a bumblebee effect um the paint job on this one didn't come out very well uh the paint didn't seem to dry properly uh, I redid these with um, a hard enamel uh, rust-oleum seems to be the best uh, that I've tried so far it puts a nice smooth finish on it and it dries pretty well and it's hard and it doesn't scratch off so um, if, if there's a paint recommendation I would say rust-oleum uh, enamel so anyway uh, have fun with it, uh, and good luck to anybody who's uh, uh, looking to start a project like this. See you later.